for your man, you in the club like he ain't dead. Like he ski mask for the COVID, the only time you niggas wear. Niggas ran inside my crib, but the Glock 10 was by the bed. I get my gun before I put it in your hand. Man, what? But I see you screaming, Vaughn. Vaughn. But I see you screaming. What's poppin'? We back at it like a crack at it. Yeah, I'm saying. You dig me? Today we got core cam. This is different. Yeah, I'm saying. Uh, originally the first person I think I have seen post these type of videos was DJ Ghost. Yeah, you know I'm saying. So this is where I got the idea from to post this video. Go check him out. One of the most. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Hands down, in my opinion, one of the realest YouTubers on this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Chill ass dude. You know what I'm saying? The videos is always a banger. It's always a slapper. You know what I'm saying? You can never go wrong. We're going to get straight to this video, man. If you like it, leave a like, subscribe, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. You heard? This is the arraignment of 20 year old Spencer Allen Boston. At a traffic stop two months earlier, Boston received. All right, so here's the charges. You know what I'm saying? Spencer, you was speeding. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you got a Hellcat. Okay. Possession of marijuana. Okay. Citations for speeding and okay. simple possession of marijuana. Yes, sir. I think it's very unfair, the marijuana law here. Um, I think we the people deserve better because marijuana is a very harmless drug. And it's been around for ages since the 80s and 90s. Uh, I've heard that baloney all my life, so don't go any further on that. Yes, sir. I don't and know what is good or bad. All I know is yes, sir. every state still has it against the law. I swear to uphold the laws, and I have to uphold the laws as a judge. It probably is unfair, but I can't change it. You've got to go see the legislature to get that changed. More of a trial date. Uh, yeah, we can do that. I'd be fine, and you, then you make another statement. The judge works with court employees to schedule a trial date. May 7th. Austin decides to take action. As he pulls out what appears to be a joint. Yo, this nigga, yo, he's crazy. He just told you it was against the law. And you about to pull out a joint in the, in the courtroom? Bro. <laughs> Bro. No one seems to notice until, shockingly, he lights up. And this he time lit it? Hey, hey, hey. We the people deserve better. Boston may have finally pleaded his case. Hey, hey, hey. We the people deserve better. That's but crazy. He's immediately taken away by the court officer. He's still pulling that bitch. <laughs> he's still pulling that bitch. You don't give a fuck. Oh my god, you an idiot, bro. Speeding two counts of possession of marijuana and disorderly conduct contempt of court. And Boston is forced to spend 10 days in jail. 10 days? That's crazy. We was just watching the last video. We was watching the last video and everybody was getting life. Now look at that shit. This nigga just got 10 days for smoking in the courtroom in a state that is against the law. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. To receive his sentence for the shooting death of high school student Jordan Clee. Wow. He's pled guilty to armed robbery, conspiracy to commit armed robbery, mm. a felony firearm violation, mm. and second degree murder. Mm. As part of the sentencing, a family member makes a victim impact statement on behalf of the victim's mother, who's too overcome with emotion to speak. I sincerely hope that whatever it was you wanted so badly that you felt the need to murder my son was worth the next at least 52 years of your continued existence. You won't get the luxury of raising your child because you took mine away. Wright's demeanor so during this statement is not what you might expect. You. Your actions have led you to a prison cell, but have also created an empty cell that I live in every day. While you can still hope to be released one day, I'll never escape my help. You are still alive, but Jordan has no future. Thank you, Your Honor. We're done. I just want to tell y'all, I'll be home soon. I'll be Keon. I love my family. That's all you got to say. <laughs> <laughs> Straight like that. Three years Straight like that. What's up? I've not accepted a sentence agreement between the parties because it's a bargain for sentence by the parties. But watching you sit there, smile and laugh and shake your head like this was no big deal. 
I'm what? very tempted to just say, I'm not going to accept this sentence agreement. We'll go to trial. And if you're convicted of felony murder, you'll go to prison for the rest of your life. That means you'll die there. Yeah. That's what I'm tempted to do. What a smile I know. The judge does have <laughs> you see, you see, you're like, he could do that. He could do that. Are you serious? He could do that. <laughs> look at his face. Look at, look at. <laughs> Yo. This shit is crazy, bro. Look at him, bro. Look at how the energy shift, gang. You see how the energy shift? I, I told y'all the last video, bro. Y'all can't do this. You come to court thinking shit's sweet, thinking it's funny. You gonna get put in your place, bro. These judges do not play. They not tolerating that, bro. They not tolerating that. Everybody who think it's sweet to just walk in there... Get the smiling, get the giggling, get the laughing, thinking shit sweet. Like, yo, bro, you stupid? Like, you know where you at? I don't understand, bro. Authority to reject the plea deal. Mr. Bella, do you want me to accept the sentence agreement? Your Honor, before I answer the court's question, I would like an opportunity to discuss it with the victim's family. I have had a very lengthy discussion uh, with the victim's mother as well as his grandparents uh, and some family members. Uh, they understand that, obviously, this, this is the defendant who... Uh, brutally uh, murdered their son by shooting him in the back of the head. He's shown absolutely no remorse. However, the Glee family um, does want to move on with this, and they are asking, as well as the people, uh, that you proceed with the sentence. Okay. The judge accepts the sentencing agreement, which puts him behind bars for 25 to 52 years. Communications, Warhurst. Yeah, I want to report a crime that's about to happen. What do you mean a crime that's about to happen? Yeah, there's about to be a crime that's gonna happen if my kids don't come back to me, you stupid bitch. Mm. You stupid judges don't want to bring people to courtrooms. I got a gun pointed at your building. Sir, what is going on? Who the f you calling, sir, you stupid bitch? Where's your judge warrant at? You gonna bring that bitch out in handcuffs and I'm gonna execute that son of a bitch right in the street. I'm letting you know I'm gonna shoot this bitch. You gonna give me my kids. Where are you at, sir? I just told you I'm outside of her building waiting for her to get there in the morning. I'm going to pop a cap in that bitch. <laughs> Shit. Detective. Yo, I ain't going to lie. He said I'm about to. I'm waiting for her to pull up to work. I'm about to put a cap in that bitch. <laughs> Yo, he's crazy. Identify the anonymous caller and track him down. Alan McCarty is arrested and charged with making death threats against a judge whom he mistakenly believes took his children away in the child custody case. Now a year later, right. in front of a different judge, his trial begins. All right, raise your right hand, let's swear you in. I'm not in the road. Raise your right hand, please. That's your bad finger. I didn't appreciate that. This is being done unconstitutionally. It's all took my kids unrightfully. You won't allow my witnesses here. We haven't started the trial yet. He's playing. I prefer not to, sir. Well, you got a mouth for it. Wow. McCarty's eventually found guilty. He returns the following month for sentencing. You're before the court, Mr. McCarty, to uh, show cause why I should not hold you in contempt for behavior that you demonstrated during the jury trial. You threatened the uh, unborn child of the prosecutor. Um, what a before. bunch of lies, you stupid piece of Then also... You threatened my life. In the... Uh, you, you... Back room. He said, I ain't resisting. I'm just not standing. I don't have to stand. <laughs> this time he's placed in a back room with a... See, but my whole thing is, like, you see, if you got people like this, though, they kind of, like, you know what I'm saying? They kind of... Y'all violating what I was talking about earlier, though. You know what I'm saying? Because I thought shit wasn't sweet. He making y'all look sweet right now. And that's making me feel some type of way. Like, why he's... 
I don't understand, bro. What's going on? Way mirror. Count one, I'm gonna adjudicate him guilty. Sentence him to 15 years in Florida State Prison. As to 15? Count two, I'm gonna adjudicate him guilty. Sentence him to five years to run consecutive to count one. Wow. The party's currently serving his sentence in a Florida State Prison. Next up is Michael Ray, who's facing four charges, including criminal trespassing and second degree assault. Making terrorist threats? What the, the hell? If the defendant is cooperative. The prosecutor suggests a bail amount for Ray based on the crime in the defendant's history. None of the county's requesting $25,000 full cash fine, all charges. <laughs> you think that's yeah. funny? I think we weren't done. Ray might feel $25,000 is too high, but sarcasm won't get him a reduction. And the judge let him... ...thinks these are funny charges. Well, it's lucky I didn't hold him in contempt. Ray just had his bond doubled. 50 but grand. as he enters the hallway, he has something else to say. Uh, I'll keep bringing him in. I'm mm. all of them in contempt. Ag charges. Ray's language isn't the only thing to upset the judge. According to court officials, the defendant also gave her the middle finger. 30 days to serve on contempt for flipping me off twice. Judge calls him back. But it looks like he's gone. If we bring him back in, he's just going to get another 30 days for doing something else. Sure enough, Ray comes back for more. Oh, here he oh. comes. Sir, I'm holding you in contempt for what you did. What's your holding me in? And so... All right, you can take him back. 100 days to serve. 100 days to serve? Okay, yeah. That's right, the judge just gave him 100 days in jail. He's done. Ray could just walk away without making matters even worse, but he goes a different route. Think we need to yeah, can we bring him back? <laughs> Yo, you see what I'm saying though? Like, are y'all getting my point now? You see, you when you have a judge who's really serious about that shit, bro, all this free talking ain't gonna fly like that, bro. It's not. And you only gonna put yourself in a worse yes. hole as you keep talking shit. What started bro. out as four serious charges has grown into a grand total of ten. On the span of approximately three minutes. See, look, he start. Look at that shit, bro. He started off with four charges, and because he kept talking shit, he couldn't sit down and get the fuck out. He ended up with ten charges in three minutes. You heard what he just said? Ten charges in three minutes with an extra twenty-five grand bond added to his shit, and now he got to do a hundred days. Come on, man. Come on, man. We're in the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice in Detroit, Michigan. For the sentencing of 25-year-old Amanda Casal. There's a lot of things that you can do. And your life doesn't have to be over because of a poor choice. You just have to accept responsibility for it and find a way to make something positive out of a very negative situation. Casal's been found guilty of driving under the influence, causing a head-on collision that killed 31-year-old Jerome Zerker wow. and severely injured his fiance, 31-year-old Brittany Johnson. Wow. The couple have five children together. Wow. Prior to man. sentencing, the court will That shit is so sad, man. Five kids, man. Now them kids gotta grow up without their dad, man. That's crazy, man. That shit is so sad. Rest in peace to that man, yo. A powerful impact statement from the victim's children, read by his sister, Doreen Zerker. Amanda, look what you did to my life. You ruined everything I had, like my dad's life. Amanda seems devastated by Doreen's words. But Judge Kiana Lillard apparently hears some snickering from Casal's family sitting in the gallery. You can go to whoever can sit here at a tragic moment like this and laugh and smile. When somebody has lost a family member, this is a court of law. You cannot come down to the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice and act any way you want to act. That's the defendant's mother, Donna Casal. Because if you don't know how to act, you can go to jail. 
Ma'am, you are being taken into custody for criminal contempt. Your disruptive and disrespectful behavior disrupted today's proceedings, and you, ma'am, are going to the Wayne County Jail for 93 days for direct criminal contempt. Look at that shit. Look at that, bro. Laughing at it. You know what I'm saying? She ain't even do nothing. She just went to support her daughter. You know what I'm saying? Because she thought shit was sweet. Got high ass 93 days. Send her old ass the fuck out of here. You understand? Fuera! Sentence of this court that you will serve three to 15 years in the Michigan Department of Corrections. If there's nothing further, that concludes this matter. Casal only serves three years mm. and is then paroled in February 2020. Oh, so she already out. She already out. She on parole. Her shit probably finished with. As for Amanda's mother, Donna, she spends the night in jail and appears before Judge Lillard the next morning. Donna seems to have learned a serious lesson oh, yeah? from just one night oh, behind yeah? bars. Ms. Is there something you'd like to say? Yes, I deeply apologize for what I did. I was a lot of stress. And oh, yeah. I deeply apologize for what I did in your court. I just needed to get out. Oh, yeah? It's been very hard for me. <laughs> for the other family, and I'm so sorry for what I did. And I know. Man, I don't want to hear this shit, man. I don't feel bad for her at all, whatsoever. She started giggling. She thought it was funny. Got high ass 93, 93 days. And now she feels some type of way. Now she want a sympathy. She want to get the crying. No, it don't work like that. Fuck out of here. You thought it was funny. Do them 93 days. Fuck is you talking about? I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I enjoyed it. I'm going to catch you on the next one. We gone.